only tonight from Chopsticks to Carnegie Hall. Remember those tiny toy pianos that you bought your child, that tinny little sound, those tiny little keys? Imagine those keys and that sound center stage in Carnegie Hall. If you're finding that a little bit of a stretch, we offer some help tonight from ABC's Brian Rooney. This is Margaret Leng Tan, who describes herself as the diva, the diva of toy piano. It's a toy, yes, but I treat it as a serious musical instrument. Sitting only an octave above the floor, she delights audiences with the possibilities of a toy first sold in 1872. In Rochester, New York, the Schoenhut Company still makes toy pianos the way they have for 128 years. Sound is produced when the hammers hit steel rods of graduated length. Tuning is done with a grinder. It's the baby's grand. But in recent years, the grown-up world has grabbed the kid's toy. The rock band Self released a disc of music made entirely with toy instruments. I'm trying to make a wonderful, fresh-sounding record with the crummiest instruments known to man, you know. It's that out-of-tune sound that gives the toy piano its charm. At UC San Diego, members of the staff give what they call short attention span concerts on the toy piano. What can't you do with the toy piano? You can't play a piece that has a wide range. So I couldn't play... Because uh, it's not wide. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Lang Tan says that's just it. That is where the challenge and the fun is. I think it's even more difficult to play a toy piano well than to play an adult piano well because it is so limited. Toy piano is silliness that has been raised to the level of art. Brian Rooney, ABC News, San Diego. <laughs>